Welcome to The Compressor Guru. We have something special in today's episode. The company Astro Pneumatic has donated a tool for us to critique. We want to thank Astro Pneumatic for this. So in this episode of The Compressor Guru, the guru and our guest Mark Scaife will give their honest and valued opinion of the new tool. Now here is the Compressor Guru. Welcome back to the Compressor Guru. Uh, we have a special episode today. We have a guest with us, and I'm going to introduce him now. His name is Mark. Mark Scape, uh, great guy. Val's known him virtually all her life. I've known him for 20 years. Come on in here, Mark. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Glad you're here. Yeah. So, what do you do? I'm a muffler distributor. And I supply most of some central Pennsylvania of uh, the guys that have exhaust pipe vendors with tubing, mufflers, clamps, and so on and so forth to make their business. Catalyst converters. converters. Catalyst converters at this They're time expensive. of year. Yes, yes they are. Uh, and, uh, do you want to give your business name out? Uh, my more. name is uh, Mark Scaife with Scaife Exhaust Products out of Oceal Mills, Pennsylvania. And uh, we can supply you know, the tips, mufflers, um, clamps, you name it at a reasonable price to your door and um, will you ship yes i will ship but you all know shipping ain't cheap anymore so uh, uh if i can supply drive to you right to your shop i'll gladly do that you have a phone you'd like to get uh, i'd like to use my uh probably just 814-553-2095 that goes right to my that's my cell phone comes right to me that way i have no chance of missing a phone call or no you don't want called after nine and before six right Oh, uh, so I've had some customers call me at 1 in the morning. I have dairy farmers that if they call 2 in the morning, it means they don't have air and they're not going to milk the next day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. I can understand that, but I've had some customers call me at 1 in the morning, but uh, technology, we're able to shut them off now. Okay. So <laughs> so. shut my phone off a certain okay. time today. So why we have Mark here is we have a new product. I don't know if it's a new product, but a product from Astro. Uh, a couple times a year, we go to a tool show, a tool sales seminar, and we meet with uh, uh, factory reps from different factories, and the uh, and the rep from Astro, I talked to him about possibly sponsoring an episode, and he said, well, let's see what we can do. And uh, within a few weeks, this showed up, and it's a reciprocating gear drive saw. And it's ideally engineered for doing exhaust work underneath that car that you put up on the lift and you, know, you can't cut it with a torch because you don't want to burn the car down. And we are going to open it up right here, just like we did with my uh, birthday gift, which has been selling very well, by the way. And we have a beautiful, brand new, reciprocating saw. It comes with a small assortment of blades. It comes with the owner's manual. And I did look up the owner's manual online and I already set the regulator to 90 pound. This is to operate at maximum of 90 pound. Remember in the different uh, videos we talk about taking good care of your tools and one of those things is, is to oil your tool the way the owner's manual recommends and stick to the maximum pressures. Okay. Uh, we're going to put a couple drops of oil in this. We're going to put a plug in it. And something the box says that this is a maximum of 88 decibels. So we're going to take and we're going to put the decibel meter on it too. and. Find out if that's accurate, or if it might be quieter, or if it's not accurate. So, here we go. So, we put some air tool oil in the tool. I have the 90 pound line hooked to it, and we put a plug in to match my air fittings. I don't know if that's the kind of plug you use. Yeah. Well, like oh, yeah. yep, same thing. Okay, then you, can have it. then you can have that plug. And the box says it's maximum 88 decibels, and we're going to check that. So there. 
They're not lying. Exactly. All time. Okay. All right, we're set. Is that quick? Yeah, that's not That's one of the factory, that's one of the blades that came with it. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Do you think you can start at the top of that tank? Well, we'll give it a war, I'll see what happens. Side of a helium tank looks like. Mark, did that cut faster than you thought? Um, yeah. It's, it's not very thick. Not very thick though. Yeah. Let's. Uh, we're going to take this out real quick. We're going to put a. You brought some samples of pipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know how it normally cuts in that pipe. And how, like it. And there is that pipe normally tough to cut, being brand new and. Um, hard? Some of the new pipe is sometimes old rusty pipe really works your saw over. Believe it or not. Oh. But uh, the new pipe should cut pretty nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what do you have in the vise? Okay, right now we've got a piece of two and a half inch, uh, 14 gauge, aluminized tubing, exhaust tubing, and uh, we're going to give it a whirl and see what this is all about. Aluminized, does that mean it's an aluminum tube or is it coated with aluminum? It's aluminum coated. Okay. okay. There's just some steel in it because it's still rust out. But this lasts longer because of the coating. The coating on it, yes. Cool. Learn something every day. Here we go. This might even be 
for like fine wood cutting. This is an 18 tooth. Put it down beside it, so I, the, uh, up a little bit. This is an 18 tooth. It's called a torch blade from Milwaukee. We're going to put it in and try it on the uh, pipe. Okay. Okay, to change the blade, we have two screws. This is just a, this front screw. Can you turn it toward me so I can see those screws? Okay, now I can this see This front screws. screw just squeezes the blade. The back screw is tight. <laughs> And I'm going to take it all the way out. It's got a little pin. And that pin goes through that little hole. And we pinch the front part of it with, the, with this one. When you lay a white blade down backward on a white table. Yeah. So, and you can see where I put that in until it lined up. Mm -hmm. And I'll put this screw back in. So that is a real specialty screw. That is. Does the tool come with it? <laughs> yeah, tool comes with the specialty screw. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Tighten that up. Tighten that up. And we'll go back to work. Are we going to cut more on the same one? Yeah, we're going to cut the same one just to see how quick that goes through that one. Yeah, once it breaks through, it probably wouldn't cut faster. It's just you're trying to cut so much all at once. Okay. It doesn't seem like we did all right. So you want to try your stainless one? Yeah, let's try Here's it. Here's the test. Yeah, that would be the test. It's 409 stainless steel exhaust bendable to the... Well, that's Mr. Clean. Oh, is that one? Yeah, all those guys that really clean the house, they're guys. They're not the women. <laughs> Did that seem to cut faster? That seemed to cut good. Um, stainless is really kind of hard to cut with any saw. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh, how do you normally cut it in your shop with? I use a uh, just a rigid 30 cutter wheel. And if it's a straight cut, now sometimes you do have to use one of these or a uh, chop saw. Um, but it, it, it's pretty heavy. Now, do you have an electric one of these or do you have an air one? I have a cordless one. Oh, okay. Of the cordless one that I use, and uh, that way it's quick to cut the converters off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, when you're when you're out under the car stealing them <laughs> in the middle of the night, yeah. Yeah. Uh, midnight auto supply. Yeah. Yeah. Working hard with this hose, dragging it out of Bud's garage to cut the converter off. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, what else should we try with this? You're the uh, boy. You're the guy that we're putting it. We're by the way, we are putting. I guess I'm getting the camera. We are putting this in his hands and want you to use it for three months. Oh, wow. 
and I want you to come back on camera, and I want you to tell us what you really think of the tool, because okay. even though Astro gave this tool to us to do an episode, we're going to be honest with you, because Mark and I were just talking between the scenes here, it takes a lifetime to build a good reputation, it takes five seconds to ruin it. So we're we're not going to tell you if there's something we don't like about it, we'll be honest. But if there's something we do like about it, quite frankly, one of the things I like about it is how quiet it is. Yeah, it is nice that way. And longevity will find out. Right. And right. you're... I cut all the pipe a day. So we'll find out whether it's we can pinpoint it to a saw or to the blade or the... Okay. And... Uh, I, I think it'd be worthless to these. The other blades that came with this aren't. <laughs> that's not for cutting no. a pipe. That's. I don't know what they'd use that for. Some intricate. Uh, uh, some small. Maybe wanting to cut a little hole in something or being able to yeah, turn. Maybe drywall. Sometimes these guys will use this saw in drywall too. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. And if they got air in the shop building the house, you know, and they're just cutting out, out around the electrical outlets, just thing, bing, bing, and... Put it in front of your shirt. The walking billboard. Yes, thank you. That made it a little bit easier. Yeah, it's kind of little teeny tiny teeth. Yeah, it is. That's fun. So these are the blades that came with the saw, along with an Allen wrench. That valuable Allen wrench. That valuable Allen wrench. With what you're buying is the screw and everything else is free. <laughs> right. So, uh, you okay. get the directions. You get some other ephemera. That's paper products in there. I don't know. We'll take a look at them. We'll hold them up. You can lay them on the table. It's probably easier. Might be. For me. Oh, kind of a little flyer of... Other Astro tools we sell. I've sold several of these. The paint mixers. We deal with a lot of body shops in this business. Mm -hmm. else in there? Oh, yeah. And the warranty card. It. And it comes in three languages. <laughs> That's awesome. So is there anything else we should try, Mark? No, I think we went through the, possibly the thinner wall of this, uh, what is that called? That's a helium tank. Helium tank. I thought you were squeaking a little bit, but yeah. nevertheless, <laughs> yeah, so, no, this here pipe is very, it's, like I said, it's 409 or 309 stainless steel, and it's tough. And the other pipe was uh, 14 gauge. See, some of the parts stores will sell you 18 gauge uh, exhaust pipe, so it's thinner. So also, when the number goes up with gauge, the thinness the goes fit, down. The thinness wall, yep. So, the parts store pipe, we'll say, is much thinner. That would probably work even that much better. Uh, but this here stuff, it, it is heavy because. And that saw is rated for up to quarter inch steel. Quarter inch steel. Okay, wow. Well. For that guy cutting the car, you said. Yeah, yeah. In Pennsylvania, if you uh, scrap a car and don't have a title, I have a uh, used car lot we deal with. Great guy, and he'll buy cars, rob all the parts off them, and if he doesn't have a title, you literally have to cut the car in half to take the junkyard. You cannot leave that car functional at all. And it's rather funny. You show up, there's a couple guys out there with saws cutting down through the middle of the car, and you wow. said, it's like they're putting a sunroof in. Yeah, yeah. the whole car. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's funny to see. Making a sidecar. So, uh, Mark, you want to plug your business again? Um, uh, Scape Exhaust Products out of Oceal Mills. 814-553-2095. Um, we supply tubing like this, stainless steel, the aluminized, because uh, all the exhaust shops out there, you know it is a, it's a business we deal with, with uh, up here north is the, the salt, the brine, and the, believe it or not, the ethanol gas is eating it alive too. 
from the inside out. And you can ship anywhere in the lower 48, but shipping is expensive. Yeah, shipping is expensive. Yes, it is out there. But if you're close to me, you know, I've been down into Cumberland, uh, up in Emporium, Pennsylvania, as far as just delivering the parts. And uh, so if I'm in those areas, give us a holler and we'll put you on the delivery list. Mark, I thank you very much. We yes, really appreciate you coming in. We'll be back in three months, and we want your honest opinion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you that set of blades, because it works better than the factory set, and I knew they would. Right, okay. And we're going to give you that set of blades, the tool, the plug, the box. We're even going to loan you the Allen wrench. Get out. <laughs> wow. So. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I'll tell you what, guys, we'll, we will definitely give her a run and be able to tell you the honest to goodness truth, whether it's a thumbs up or level or down. We'll find out. Right now, what do you think? I'm not sure. I got. I got. I'm trying to figure out if the if the blade is going like uh, more straight and where someone maybe take a little hump, take maybe a bigger bite out. I, I'm not sure. You know, compared to, I think what I might do is take it to my shop and run, the run blades, that. The blades you run. Either that the would, blades that would I be run. A good, that would yeah. be a good experiment. And you can get your hose here. Yeah, we sell hose. <laughs> uh, folks. This is the Compressor Guru. We thank you for checking this out. We'll be back in two weeks with another episode, but we'll be back in three months with Mark, and we'll find out more how this saw held up and how it did in the long run. Thank you. God bless. Have a great day. Awesome. See you. How long have you been in the muffler business? Well, we bought this out, oh my goodness, probably... It was down to State College. And it was probably twenty years ago. Wow, you're old. You were a kid then. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of the Compressor Guru. Please hit like and subscribe, and use the notify bell so you will know when the next new episode is released from the Compressor Guru. God bless you and have a great day.